Hello everyone, welcome back to our Bob Riddick's Book of Philosophy. Uh, this is where I talk about what I want to talk about the way that I want to talk about it. Now, you may notice guys that uh, I haven't shaved in a couple of days, going a little rustic. And uh, my wife's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> Uh, anyway, no, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Because I'm going to be talking positive. That's what this is all about. Being positive. So I am positive that my wife's going to kick my ass. <laughs> now I'm going to shave this off before I depart. <clears throat> all right, guys. But anyway, when we're dealing with YouTube, when we're dealing with each other, each other meaning um, other YouTube channels or the people that you enjoy watching, uh, since this is social media, we all interact with each other, guys. We should make an effort, I think, you should make an effort to be impactful in a positive way when you're making comments, all right? Now, this is all about comments. We've talked a lot about the negative comments and how to deal with trolls and blah, blah, blah. Not doing that today. Now we're talking about positive. Positive comments. All right, guys. Um... I don't know those of you that follow me or happen to see the way that I comment. Um, I always try to do something with substance. All right. When I comment on a video, if I come on to your channel and look at one of your videos and it compels me to say something, I want to say something that's encouraging. Okay. My comments are normally not too long, but my, it's, it's more than good job. That looks good. Mm hmm. I normally say something, guys. To prove this, if you'd like, you can pause this video right now. Don't forget to come back and go to any of the R bops or go to Daddy Cooks and look at comments that people have made to me in my responses. I'll wait. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> but go look at my comments and you'll see. Okay? It takes nothing to have a give a kind word. If you like what someone's doing, tell them that you like what they're doing. Give them some acknowledgement. Okay? Um, I always acknowledge people, uh, my comments even carry over. I'll be talking on one channel and talk about something I saw or heard from another person's channel. Okay. Um, another thing that's really, really important, if you can do it, and my guest speaker is going to talk about the same thing, is names. You look at my comments. If I know your name, I am going to call you by name. Thanks, John. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Pete. I really appreciate it. If I don't know your name, I'm going to call you by your screen, your screen name, your YouTube channel. All right. Address people. All right. Because that's what I do. All right. If I am going to con, uh, if I am going to say something about your video, I'm going to try to say something helpful. And I will always try to say something constructive. All right. Especially if it's a newer channel. Um, if I see something, I will try to give a helpful hint. And I'll talk about that a little bit more a little bit later on. You know, I'm not going to drag my piece out because I really, really want you to listen to this guy. All right. Um, my guest speaker is going to be the bald chef. His name's Glenn. Okay. Uh, but before I bring him on, uh, Glenn and I, we've never met face to face. I'd like to. Um, we, we talk. All right, we send comments back and forth, in-depth comments, that type of thing. And um, he doesn't know this. Well, maybe he does. It's because of him, Glenn, the bald chef, and that's his channel right there. Please check him out. All right, really, really good cook. A lot of Asian and other ethnic uh, uh, types of recipes and meals. Anyway, um, because of him and Juanello, all right, Juanello, 1946, he was my last guest speaker. Their comments are very in-depth, very encouraging, very friendly, very intuitive. And they both have influenced me to start doing the same thing. I always had pretty good comments, but now I'm very conscious of what I tell other people. Okay, and along with that is now our Bob. There are people that specifically ask my advice now <laughs> about stuff. I'm not a professional, guys, but I will tell you what I know about what I know. All right, guys, but without any further ado, um, I'm going to bring on Glenn, the bald chef. Take it away, my friend. Hey, Phil, thanks for having me on. If you folks don't know who I am, I am Glenn, the bald chef, and I have been asked by Phil to come on to our bops 
channel of philosophy, YouTube 101, whatever you want to call it, and talk to you about making positive comments to people that have put up comments on your channel and then in turn commenting on other people's work too. There has been much written and much said about how to deal with negativity, but we're going to be talking about positive comments. Positive comments about people's posts to your channel and positive comments about work that others have put up. When someone responds to one of my videos with a comment, the worst thing I can do is not respond at all. They have taken the time to sit there, watch, or at least look at my video, and then took the time to actually write a comment. It would be disrespectful on many levels if I did not at least respond to their comment. And a simple thank you is not enough. I will take the time to not only thank them for the comment itself, but I will use the most beautiful word in all of the languages, which is that person's name. I will say, hey Tom, hey Bill, thanks for watching my video that makes it seem like we're more on a personal level which for a lot of my subscribers we are on a personal level at least on YouTube and I think that that adds a little bit more to that relation building when you use someone's first name so you might want to try utilizing that technique when responding to others videos the third thing that I like to do is to try to expand on the comment itself, um, adding some keywords about what I've just done. That will help in my SERPs when the video is actually published and that's what it's all about is getting that view count up. The fourth thing that I do that's a positive thing is that if you take the time to watch my video I'm gonna make a point to jump over and see what the heck you're doing. Um, if you took the time to look at me I'm going to go see what you're doing. And that leads us to the second part of, of, of this video series here is how to deal with making positive comments on other people's work. If I go and I see somebody that has put up a, a video, I may or may not like it. It may not be something that I'm interested in. But you can always find something good about somebody else's work. You should have enough self-esteem not to go in there and criticize or tell somebody, hey, look, this is wrong or this is, I wouldn't have done it this way. Don't do that. What you should do is find something that you do like. There's always something there. And then expand upon that. You don't need to lie. You don't need to BS these people, but say, hey, you know, that was a really cool way that you did that. Or, you know, my grand aunt did it this way or, or something. And, and thank them for putting the video up and I think that you will find that you will build relationships if you actually not only just think about your channel as a me me world but look at being in the YouTube community as a group of like-minded people that are working together of course we're competitive but we're also trying to help each other and when you look at someone else's work, there is no right or wrong way of doing something. Be kind. That's the most important thing I can say is just try to be kind and people in return should be kind to you. Phil, I hope this accomplishes what you set out for me to do. I appreciate you having me on your channel. It means a lot to me. Can't wait till you get back stateside and start doing your cooking videos, but in the meantime, keep on doing what you're doing. Thanks for watching, and we'll check you soon. That is a very wise man. All right, guys, I hope you take to heart what he said. A lot of valuable information and a, a, a lot of things on how I also feel that you should treat the people that take the time to uh, evaluate, look at, watch, or view your stuff.
All right, very, very, very uh, valuable information. And I like the way he thinks about it. <clears throat> uh, also, like he says, YouTube 101. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. I wasn't, didn't ever think of it that way. <laughs> now, there's something that Glenn does. If you go to his channel, once again, it's right here. Uh, you go to his channel, he's going to start out in the very beginning and say, Hi, this is Glenn the Bald Chef. I'm cooking, blah, blah, blah. Then he's going to do his video. And at the end, almost without fail, at least his more recent videos I've noticed, he'll say, uh, Give my video a like. If you don't like it, tell me why. That's very valuable and it's very smart. All right, tell me why. I wish people would do that. You get those mysterious folks that give you a thumbs down. If you're gonna give me a thumbs down, at least tell me why you don't like my shit. At least tell me why. Give me an opportunity to fix it. All right, guys, another thing that if you were paying attention, uh, I like that he said is other people's work. All right, he referred to videos as other people's work. And that's huge. That is very, very wise of him. That is very observant of him because it takes a lot of work to get these videos out, guys, believe it or not. You know, those of you that uh, have bigger channels realize this. And those of you with smaller channels listening to our Bob here, you're starting to realize this. There's a fair amount of work in putting in a video, okay, to get that out. And he recognizes that if you're going to evaluate somebody's work at least be constructive about it try to be friendly about it be kind about it you know um like i said before it's because of him uh glenn and john Juanello, that uh i emulate or i started to emulate their comments by making better comments myself all right, they made me do better. <laughs> they made me start making better comments, okay? Uh, now, you'll notice if you start reading my comments or if I make a comment to your channel, I am going to try to say something thoughtful. I'm gonna try to sprinkle in something that's kind of witty, try to be funny or, or, or whimsical about it, okay? Um, and I'm gonna try to do something or say something that is gonna have value, okay? now. If there is something, y'all hear that? Shh, ignore the phone, ignore the phone. <laughs> All right, guys, but <clears throat> if I see a video and there is something about it I don't like, or uh, if, it's, if it's just a freaking terrible video, <laughs> I just won't say anything. All right, there's nothing for me to, if there's nothing constructive for me to say or nothing good for me to say about the video, um, to say a bad thing in a good way, then I just won't say anything, guys. Why crush anybody? That makes no sense to me. Okay, but that's just me. Now, this is a community. All right, so when you're dealing in a community of people, you want to act in a certain way. There's a certain etiquette. There's a certain way of conducting yourselves in a community. And I think that should be courteous and friendly and helpful and that type of thing. Because this, once again, is a community of people trying to express themselves. Okay. Now, I'll tell you something that I really, really like. This is what I like. When I get a comment, an intuitive comment, a very thoughtful, wise, smart, helpful comment from someone whose channel is bigger than mine. I love that. I do. I do. Because I listen very intently on what that uh, constructive criticism or what that advice or what that thing is that that person took the time to tell me. Because if you think about it, that is a free consultation. You're getting free information from an expert. Now, I'm not an expert, but you're getting information from someone that's done it more than me or you, and I think that's valuable. All right, guys? And one other reason why I make my comments funny, wise, try to be wise, uh, and intelligent, and uh, more than just one or two liners, I try to make a very good, thoughtful comment it's because it makes people curious. Yeah, it makes people curious. They see a good comment, wow, that made sense. And then they see the same guy say something, and the same guy say something after a while, they'll be like, who is that? Click up. You just got yourself another click, okay? There are people that are subscribed to Arbop right now because they saw a comment that I made from Daddy Cooks. All right, guys? I hope they chime in. 
<laughs> the proof's in the pudding. There are people that are subscribed to this channel based on comments that I made on other channels. I bullshit you not. All right, guys. But anyway, having said that, be conscious of what you say. Be conscious of what you, uh, how you express yourself to the people that you're trying to get your message out to. Because believe it or not, your comments are powerful. Having said that, I will see you when I see you.